Continuing coverage, a jury in Gregg County will soon consider the sentence for the man convicted of killing Panola County Sheriff's Deputy Chris Dickerson. Today, defense lawyers finished presenting their case in the punishment phase of this trial, but not before they called their final witness, Newson's teenage son. KLTV 7's J.D. Conte has more. Now you understand your dad's been convicted of capital murder, correct? Yes, ma'am. The defense's final witness in the punishment phase, Gregory Newson's 15-year-old son. No matter what, do you still love your dad? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything ever going to change that? No, ma'am. The defense called another psychologist, Dr. Antoinette McGarahan, who said Newson has an intellectual disability. Mr. Newson had difficulties with um, academic skills like reading and spelling. Um, as well as decision making. Dr. McGarahan said Newson has an IQ of 79 in the bottom 10% of the population. The defense alluded to Atkins v. Virginia, a Supreme Court case that prevents executions of people with intellectual disabilities. In your practice with death penalty cases, this is a question that must be addressed. Absolutely. The state called their own psychologist, who also interviewed and tested Newson. Dr. Matthew Clem gave Newson the same IQ score that McGarahan did, but he does not think Newson has a disability. Dr. Clem questioned the work of defense experts, primarily Dr. Jordan Dill. Dill is not a licensed psychologist. He testified on Newson's levels of adaptive functioning, one of the components psychologists analyze when determining intellectual disability. He wouldn't be licensed or qualified to diagnose intellectual disability. Ultimately, the jury will consider the testimony and decide whether or not Newsom has an intellectual disability. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. And we're told that jury was sent home early today so they could vote in the election.